Hi, I'm LeVar Burton. Join me as we journey to some of the most corrosive places in America. Earthquakes, hurricanes, tsunamis. We all know the damage and expense they can cause, but no one thinks about the one natural disaster that is occurring every day, every second. It's a silent, insidious, pervasive menace that can cause even more damage and cost even more money. Our nation's infrastructure is under constant and unrelenting attack. In 2007, Minnesota's fifth busiest bridge suddenly collapsed. 13 people lost their lives and 145 others were injured. These disasters, as well as more than a dozen others over the past 40 years involving major bridges, overpasses, and highways collapsing, have all been at least partially attributed to corrosion. In 1988, Aloha Airlines Flight 243 suffered extensive damage in mid-flight. Though able to land, a flight attendant lost her life and 65 others were injured. The Alaskan oil spill in 2006 had a major impact on BP and the Alaska Pipeline Service, which is the company that runs the Trans-Alaska Pipeline. A dime-sized hole caused by corrosion let over 5,000 barrels of crude oil spill out of the pipeline. The leak and the subsequent discovery that six miles of pipeline was badly corroded led to the shutdown of much of the Prudhoe Bay oil field and the loss of hundreds of millions of dollars. These corrosion-related incidents are just some of the cases that cost the U.S. economy billions of dollars each year. The United States Department of Defense knows that if corrosion is ignored, many other tragedies lie ahead. But now, let's bring this closer to home. When I say rust, you may think of something like a backyard grill. Now. Think about every grill in America, and not just grills, but all of the things that are made out of metals and other compounds that corrode. The list is endless. What's fascinating here is that when we explore the science of corrosion, we find that some environments are more likely to produce severe corrosion than others. The coastlines usually have the highest levels of corrosion, but you can find corrosion everywhere. Hawaii is a very good example to start with, as it is a microcosm of the rest of the world. It's made up of more microclimates than any other place its size on Earth. This means that there are many different types of climates all located within a short distance of one another. But today, we are not here purely for a visit. Kanaoe Bay is on our list of the most corrosive places in America. Marine Corps Air Station Kanaoe Bay is located in Honolulu County, Hawaii. It was a major training base in the Pacific Theater during World War II and was attacked on December 7, 1941. Today, the base has been redesignated as an air station and sits on the eastern side of Oahu. The Marine Corps has four major bases, all great places to visit, but as far as corrosion goes, they're all very severe. One of the foundations of our corrosion prevention and control, also known as CPAC, is identify, correct, and maintain. This asset right here, this water bowl, has reached a category corrosion four. As you can see, there's multiple versions of rust, but we actually have penetration through the surface. This asset will be sent to the corrosion repair facility where it will be blasted and repainted and brought up to a category one. And the final element is to maintain it which we use through um, our dehumidified shelters or our transshield covers. Kanaoe Bay rates a whopping 29,800 on our corrosion severity test scale of steel. This means that an unprotected piece of carbon steel had a weight loss measured in micrograms per square centimeter per year. Now in comparison, the desert we just left rated only 2,000 on our scale. I'm LeVar Burton. Thanks for joining me on this journey through some of America's most corrosive places. And remember, rust never sleeps.